Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And look who's with us. Hello. It's Fifi. Mm -hmm. We're back with another movie for you guys, and it's a first time for only one of us on this couch. You, Fifi. Yes. What are we watching? Star Wars. Yes. Yes. You have really not seen this. Yeah, I have not. I think you're in for a treat. I'm sure Dan would agree. And my shirt says, I like Star Wars. So. <laughs> yes. The whole world loves it, so we're going to get you, uh, we're going to bring you into the light. All right, fam, let's go watch it. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Have you at least heard this song? Yeah, obviously. Okay. <laughs> and the intro itself has been memed so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. The effects are pretty cool for it being 1977. Well, this has been remastered. Oh, okay. Very much so. <laughs> they were still pretty cool. Well, the planetary stuff is mostly what's added. This is actually mostly original. Oh. <laughs> Guys got like no cover in this hallway. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> does. <laughs> They're just falling dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did none of that hit them? <laughs> we'll uh, we'll explain that in the after <laughs> Oh my, who's he? He looks bad. <laughs> no kidding. He just looks like a disappointed boss, you know. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Last, where have you been? They're heading in this direction. What are we going to do? I don't feel like it's so sassy. <laughs> <laughs> you are you would be right to assume that. Yes. <laughs> where are those transmissions you intercept? We're intercepting no transmissions. This is a consular ship. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bring me the passengers. I want them alive. So he is voiced by James Earl Jones. Okay. There's one. Set for stun. <laughs> I said, I shoot the kill. <laughs> hey, you're not permitted in there. It's restricted. Don't you call me a mindless philosopher, you overweight glob of grease. <laughs> plans. What are you talking about? I'm not getting in bed. Yes, you are. <laughs> Alright, stay here and die. He's such a negative Nancy. <laughs> Darth Vader. Only you could be so bold. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away! Battle station plans are not aboard this ship. An escape pod was jettisoned during the fighting. She must have hidden the plans in the escape pod. You're gonna open up the escape pod and there's just gonna be a little file there that says the plans. <laughs> yeah. How did we get into this mess? <laughs> I feel like I would be him. <laughs> What's his name again? His name is C-3PO. C-3PO. And the little droid there is R2-D2. Okay. Go that way. You'll be malfunctioning within a day, you near sighted scrap pile. <laughs> <My Yeah. cake>. <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy actually wearing that suit. I, yeah. And there's also somebody inside that. There's someone in there? <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh. I know, you sound scared, right? <laughs> Just want to go in straight up the vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that Wally? <laughs> Oh, I feel bad for them. Yeah. R2? Oh my god. <laughs> he got caught. <laughs> R2D2, it is you, it is you. As far as c 3 pip sees it, you've been rescued, <laughs> not salvaged. It's pretty bad. They went opposite directions and still got caught. Yeah, the same guys. We stopped. Wake up. Wake up! The punch. So aggressive. <laughs> Do they sell, like, robots to people or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They scavenge stuff and they sell it to everybody else. Can you speak bocce? Of course I can, sir. It's like a second language to me. I'm a All right, shut up. I'll take the... <laughs> <laughs> oh. This R2 unit has a bad motivator. What about that one? What about that blue one? We'll take that one. Mommy. Blue one looks newer anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Got something jammed in here real good. Were you on a star cruiser? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. He says that he is the property of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Sounds like she's in trouble. I better play back the whole thing. There you go. Bring her back. Play back the entire message. What message? 
No, I don't think he likes you at all. No, I don't like you either. <laughs> Been entrusted with so much, he just can't. He just can't share it. <laughs> Someone across the recording while I was cleaning him. He says he belongs to someone called Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I want to transmit my application to the academy this year. Harbush is when I need you the most. You can go to the academy next year. Yeah, she said when Biggs and Tank met. Luke's just not a farmer, Owen. He has too much of his father in him. That's what I'm afraid. Of. Who wants to farm in a desert, anyways? <laughs> Seriously. And no, it's possible. <laughs> That was a pretty scene. Yeah. I told him not to go, but kept babbling on about his mission. Oh, no. Apparently he forgot what happened to him the last time. <laughs> Couldn't we go after him? It's too dangerous with all the sand people around. We'll have to wait until morning. You know, that little droid is going to cause me a lot of trouble. Oh, he excels at that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> How did he get so far? It's been like 20 minutes. I know. Oh, no. Honestly, it'd be cool to drive all of these things. Like, hover cars. Yeah. Master Luke is your rightful owner now. <laughs> What's wrong with them now? Several creatures approaching from the southeast. Sand people. It's so dangerous, shouldn't you just leave? Mm. Hell yeah, you should. They're sand people, alright. I can see one of them now. <laughs> oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, but it worked really well. Ben Kenobi? What brings you out this far? Uh, he claims to be the property of an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. We well, you know him. He's me. So you know him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can make it. You go on, Master Luke. So dramatic. <laughs> it's just an arm. Get out. <laughs> yeah. I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father, which reminds me. Your father wanted you to have this when you were old enough. Your father's lightsaber. Easy there. Yes, Elephant please. Weapon. At least you didn't do it like this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I would have been like... <laughs> How did my father die? A young Jedi named Darth Vader, who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil. Evil. Yeah. <laughs> He's very proper. <laughs> I have placed information vital to the survival of the Rebellion into the memory systems of this R2 unit. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> You must learn the ways of the Force if you're to come with me to Alderaan. I can't get involved. I've got work to do. You must do what you feel is right, of course. You're just arguing with your father about staying here, and now you have a chance to leave and explore the galaxy, and you're saying no. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. <laughs> your sorcerer's ways? <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. Vader, release him. <clears throat> his sorcerer's ways are effective. Are yes. Trace the robots here, they may have learned who they sold them to, and that would lead them back home. <laughs> oh, wait, Luke, it's too dangerous. Did they all ride on that one car? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> it's like a two seater. People sit in laps, I guess. <laughs> it's home. Oh no. Oh my god, it turned them into skeletons? Well, they got burned alive, yeah. That's serious overkill. I would have had a whole breakdown. I think the hatred got a hold of them real fast. Everybody deals with it differently, you know? Yeah. I want to come with you to Alderaan. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. Moss Eisley will never find more wretched hive of scum and villainy. I'm sure there's worse out there in the galaxy. I don't think so. <laughs> These droids are so violent. They're violent to other droids. Yeah. It's a droid on droid violence. No, man. <laughs> droid on droid violence. <laughs> Let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Move along. Wait, what? <laughs> I can't understand how we got by those troops. The Force can have a strong influence on the weak-minded. Aren't you back there? Just a little hand here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Iconic song. Is that a vape? 
It's like a, it's like a space hookah. <laughs> we don't serve their kind here. They're droids. They'll have to wait outside. I'm much way up by the speed. We don't want any trouble. What do you have against droids? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. The machines. <laughs> Put some pants on your face. <laughs> he doesn't like you. I'm sorry. I don't like you either. <laughs> Everybody's like, not my problem. <laughs> yep. On Solo, Chewie here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan system. If it's a fast ship, you've never heard of the Millennium Falcon. Should I have? I bought run Imperial starships. That's what you need. What is it, some kind of local trouble? We'd like to avoid any Imperial entanglements. 10,000, all in advance. 10,000? Who asked for that? Come on. <laughs> 2,000 now, 15, when we reach Alderaan. 17? Okay, you guys got yourselves a ship. Game is 2,000, then when you get where you're going, he says, now where's my other 15 or whatever? Right. Be like, what other 15? <laughs> <laughs> Just whips out his lightsaber. <laughs> Yes, Greedo. As a matter of fact, I was just going to see your boss. I wonder if he can see the subtitles, too. <laughs> I'm sure he speaks the language, right? Thor <laughs> has to clean up all these dead bodies every day. You throw him a coin, it won't matter. <laughs> Right here, Java. Well, he doesn't get out very much. <laughs> I think I had a choice. She's lost. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> 15, Java. Don't push it. Java, you're a wonderful human being. Human being? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the transitions. It's always like, cool. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They're really cool. What a piece of junk. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. <laughs> oh my god. So. It <laughs> <laughs> like didn't run for cover at all. <laughs> not like they were going to hit him anyway, right? That was easy enough. Yeah, we didn't need to pay you 2000 for this. <laughs> safe enough once we make the jump to hyperspace. They caught up to you so fast. Kind of just flying straight there. Yeah. Okay, problem solved. Governor Tuck, I recognized your foul stench when I was brought on board. Charming to the last. Mm. I have chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet. Alderaan is peaceful. We have no weapons. You can't You will possibly... prefer another target? Then name the system. Dantooine. They're on Dantooine. There. You may fire when ready. What? Damn. That's crazy. This is why nobody likes you. Dang, they really just killed a whole planet. Uh -huh. <laughs> I felt a great disturbance in the force. As if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. <laughs> you don't believe in the Force, do you? I've seen a lot of strange stuff, but I've never seen anything to make me believe there's one all-powerful Force. It's empirical uh, evidence. With the blast shield down, I can't even see. Stretch out with your feelings. <laughs> with your feelings. Just start. <laughs> <laughs> this is a game of pinata. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. That was pretty good. Her position's correct, except no alder on. He's totally blown away. He followed us! Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. That's no moon, it's a space station. It's too big to be a space station. You were saying? <laughs> Why are we still moving towards it? We're caught in a tractor beam that's pulling us in. Tractor beam has some serious range on it. Yeah, it does. Can you imagine the amount of resources yeah. that they took to build that? There's no one on board, sir. According to the log, the crew abandoned ship right after takeoff. I sense something. A presence I've not felt since... Yes. <laughs> We're just not going to finish that. <laughs> There's no one here. You guys are both in job. You just knock on doors and leave. 
You I'll don't look under the covers. <laughs> Even if I could take off, I'd never get past the tractor beam. Leave that to me. I knew that you were going to say that. Hey down there! Did you give us a hand with this? <laughs> Nobody hears nothing. <laughs> nope. Get him, Chewy! <laughs> That's the easiest infiltration ever. No. The tractor beam is coupled to the main reactor in seven locations. Let's go alone. Whatever you say. Can you get a stormtrooper outfit to blend in better? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stay and watch over the droids. <laughs> Your destiny lies along a different path. The force will be with you always. The door is violently fast. <laughs> no. It's like, <laughs> he says I found her and keeps repeating she's here, Princess Leia. I'm afraid she's scheduled to be terminated. We've got to do something. I'm not going anywhere. She's rich. Is she? Her whole planet got blown up. <laughs> the reward would be... What? Well, more wealth than you can imagine. I don't know. I can imagine quite a bit. You'll get it. This is your best shot getting that other 15,000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put these on you. Come on, you, you put those on. <laughs> not suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's not in there whistling. Prisoner transfer from cell block 1138. I'll have to clear it. Look out, he's loose! <laughs> oh my god. It's so crazy in this room. They're just shooting things, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's perfectly all right now. How are you? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> What's your operating number? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my operating number. <laughs> Too short for a stormtrooper. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. I'm here with Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi? Where is he? Come on. She's not going to know who Luke Skywalker is. Why don't you introduce yourself first? He is here. Obi-Wan Kenobi. The Force is with him. I must face him alone. He's been looking forward to this moment. Well, come on, shoot a little more accurately. <laughs> Somebody, anybody. Oh, they go right? through like training and stuff. Like yes, that. they do. <laughs> they certainly do. Do you have a plan for getting out? He's the brain, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'll save myself. <laughs> Dive head first, then. <laughs> <laughs> ah! ah! What an incredible smell you discovered. He's like freaking out over there. <laughs> I had everything under control till you let us down here. Could be worse. It's worse. Why, why though? It's yeah. Like... It's a garbage shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? Ooh. <laughs> Somebody threw out their pet creature. <laughs> oh, God. How does that even get onto the. <laughs> I think you have a good point there, Phoebe. <laughs> no one have a knife or something? I guess not. Help him! What happened? Just let go of me and disappear! He can hold his breath for a good long time. Yeah, he can. Don't just stand there and try and brace it with something! Where did the worm go? Why don't they go where the worm went? <laughs> They're heading for the prison level. Follow me. <laughs> Good leadership. This is the droid nobody knows. I'd like to take him down to maintenance. All right. Bitch and Steve having I'm... a good old time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the other three are like fighting for their life. Come in, 3PO! 3PO! One thing's for sure, we're all going to be a lot thinner. <laughs> are you there, sir? 3 Cut down all the garbage mashers on the detention level! Cut down all the garbage mashers on the detention level! Jesus, we're running out of time. <laughs> 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 Listen to them, they're dying! <laughs> <laughs> we're all right! You did great! Even the pressure made the attack on you with a I love how their analog tech is so easily hacked. Mm hmm. Sounds like a video game. <laughs> now on, you do as I tell you. Look, your worshipfulness. I take orders from just one person, me. So one day you're still alive. Will somebody get this big walking carpet out of my way. <laughs> Everybody hates each other in the show. <laughs> it 
attempt. Blast them. Get back to the church! Why are you running? So absurd. <laughs> you outnumbered him. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's fine. <laughs> Find the controls that extend the bridge. Oh, I think I just blasted it. Oh. Good job. <laughs> I wonder if you could have just held down the button. You have like no cover down there. I know. There's like never any cover, and yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he'll well Wait, is that where it originally comes from? I think it's older than this, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. You think it's older than this? Yeah. Oh. Maybe what, the princess isn't useless here. She's a, she's a capable fighter. Yeah. They could have gotten shot in the ankles, but they didn't do it. Like... This is why stormtroopers are not known for their intelligence. No, <laughs> they're accurate. Apparently not. Close the blast door. Open the blast door. After they scream, close the blast doors. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we meet again at last. Now I am the master. The yeah, turn took like five minutes. <laughs> if you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best lightsaber battle. <laughs> Look, man, they're not as young as they once were, okay? <laughs> Ban? No! It's no! <laughs> Pat down with the foot! <laughs> Y'all keep an eye out for a naked old man running around the street. Run, Luke, run! I wanted to give him like a distraction. He just pops out of the corner and goes, ah! <laughs> Oh my god. Can't believe he's gone. There wasn't anything you could have done. Come on, buddy. We're not out of this yet. I bet he's like alive somewhere. <laughs> it's like, that's my old Jedi trick of me falling and keeping the thing standing up. <laughs> yeah. Here they come. Well, apparently he's more than a park boy. He's become an accomplished yeah, pilot. Like... Remember his little toys that it had home? Oh, that's yeah. how he learned to fly. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was more than that. <laughs> explosion we did it <laughs> help i think i'm melting <laughs> <laughs> you're sure the homing beacon is secure aboard their ship this had better work oh they wanted them to get away mm -hmm. they're gonna find their old base anyway yep. you know sometimes i amaze even myself they let us go they're tracking us not this ship sister <laughs> sister <laughs> Look, I ain't in this for your revolution. I expect to be well paid. I'm in it for the money. Your friend is quite a mercenary. I wonder if he really cares about anything. I care. Nice try, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of her, hon? Trying not to kid. Good. <laughs> you think a princess and a guy like me? No. Oh, let the games begin. Okay. <laughs> They found the rebel base. Could be a size base, too. Hell yeah, it is. A small one man fighter should be able to penetrate the outer defense. The target area is only two meters wide. It's a small. Jeez. That's impossible, even for a computer. But it's not impossible. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T 16 back home. They're not much bigger than two meters. You just killing animals? Practice? Going for them and told them to start shooting the droids, man. <laughs> <laughs> This will be a day long remembered. We'll be here a while. <laughs> you got your reward and you're just leaving then? That's right, yeah. Attacking that battle station ain't my idea of courage. Suicide. Well, take care of yourself, huh? I guess that's what you're best at, isn't it? Hey, Luke. May the force be with you. Hell yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> Survive this, nobody else will. That's right. Hey, Luke! Beans. I don't believe it! Yeah. There's a buddy he was talking about. Oh, his friend? Yeah. I told you I'd make it someday. It'll be like old times, Luke. They'll never stop us. You can fly T-16, you can fly this. 
That's right. Hang on tight, R2. You've got to come back. You wouldn't want my life to get boring, would you? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm an abusive friend. Luke, the Force will be with you. Yeah, not the time to be hearing voices in your head. <laughs> Lock S boils in attack position. Look at the size of that thing. Cut the shot on Red 2. You met the guy playing Red 2, right, Dan? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he got his uh, autograph. He's on my lunchbox with the guy that played c 3 I'm going in. Cover me, Porkins. I'm right with you, Red 3. <laughs> Everybody else got blown up when they got hit once. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I'm on him, Luke. Ooh, there you go. We're starting our attack run. Oh, that, that'd be a that'd be a fun ride right there. Yeah, no room to maneuver in there at all. No. I'll take them myself. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. Target's coming up. Maybe they need to get in that tunnel, like, closer to the target. That's what I was thinking. Almost there. I can't hold them. Like it's a suicide run. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Luke, you're in charge. He just got there and he's like not even 18 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in charge of a fighter group. <laughs> Luke, at that speed, would be able to pull out in time? He's just like beggars. Be the right. kind of hierarchy, <laughs> like... You're the two of veteran pilots, who are you? I have to make this run every time. I can't just like fly above it. Coming in, point three. There, it's always just them. They're always just there waiting for you. Yeah. If they know you're playing, you're not fooling anybody. No. Wait! Wait! Oh, His buddy. Oh. Use the force, Luke. Let go. The force is strong in this one. You have to really believe in yourself to <laughs> <Yeah>. do this. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Our two got shot. You may fire when ready. Oh no. I have you now. What? Yeah, <laughs> Where have you been? Look out! God, he just like <laughs> landed too. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, you, like, no, but you really have to like get out of there. <laughs> yeah. Like... Nothing's gonna hit you. It's all sparks now. The force will be with you, always. <laughs> Evil will survive for one more day. Yeah, lucky him. <laughs> hey! Hey! I knew you'd come back. I just knew it. Hey, I knew that was more to you than money. Not much, but I mean. <laughs> Can you hear me? Sir, if any of my circuits or gears will help, I'll gladly donate them. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. He'll We're be out of here. They just left. So they were like, whatever. You no, know, they treated them pretty badly, don't they? <laughs> Very neglectful towards the droids. That's a cool jacket, though. Heck yeah, it is. Oh, she's pretty. Mm hmm. Carrie Fisher was very pretty. Yeah. Didn't she pass away um, last year? Some, last year or this year? Before oh, that. Yeah. Before that. A couple years oh. before that, yeah. Such a <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him. He's all chromed up. What about Chewie? Yeah, he doesn't get anything. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's fine. Looks like new. There it is. Oh. There's still a war going on. <laughs> They're just like celebrating. What are you talking about? That's the end. That's the end. 
I do believe the worst is behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, no. That was A New Hope, Star Wars, Episode 4. four. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're jumping you right into the sequels. Into the middle of the story. <laughs> That's right. As far as most people growing up with, with this movie were concerned, this is the start of the story. Mm -hmm. you know, and it's the proper order to watch it. Okay. So what were your thoughts overall? Um, it was really cool seeing all of the, every, because you know, Star Wars is just like referred back to just like in popular media, like in pop culture in general. It was really cool seeing like all of the really famous scenes, you know, kind of like realizing, oh, I saw this in something else and realizing it came from Star Wars or whatever. Um, it's really just like such an iconic movie. Sure. So it was really cool finally getting to watch it again. Or, not again. Again. <laughs> I have not ever watched this. <laughs> so, you know I'm a big fan of Dune, mm -hmm. right? Dune was written back in the 1960s, and Dune was the inspiration for things like Star Wars. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's a lot of elements, even in this movie, that were in, that were inspired by Dune. Like, for instance, when uh, C-3PO is going into the bath, like mm -hmm. his, like back in the, back at Uncle Owen's place, he said he said something like "Bless the Maker." Mm -hmm. you know, the Maker is what the uh, Fremen refer to the worms as. They call them the Maker of the Deep Desert. So he said, "Bless mm -hmm. the Maker." Mm -hmm. I've been looking forward to this bath kind of thing. Uh -huh. There's just a fun little nod there. Uh -huh. uh, but he's also talking about. They're also talking about spice mining. Spice is a thing in Dune. It's mm -hmm. like called the spice melange. It's the most rare substance that they mine out there. Mm -hmm. Little things like that. Mm -hmm. And of course, the fact that your main character is a. Uh... A young man from a desert planet. Yeah. Right, right. Absolutely. Interesting. And it, and there's more. Like, Jabba the Hutt. I, I personally think that he is uh, inspired by the Baron Harkonnen. I can totally see that. Oh, yeah. What are those? The Baron Harkonnen? Mm -hmm. He's a, he's the uh, leader of House Harkonnen, oh, and okay. he's a big, floating, fat dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what he's going oh, for. <laughs> yes. Like, he literally... He, he literally is so opulent he won't walk so he just mm -hmm. floats everywhere mm -hmm. but yeah it's like well, we'll, one day we'll show you the 1984 movie yeah i also haven't seen the, the newest movies that have come out with, like, you need to go do Tim you need Timothy, to go do that Chalamet yeah 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 you're only you're only hurting yourself there <laughs> okay <laughs> when when you don't go watch that but the 1984 you probably live without but it's uh but it's just weird good fun okay so, yeah yeah but that's one of the reasons I love, like, I've always loved Star Wars. Like, I watched it before I ever got into Dune or anything, mm -hmm. and I've always loved Star Wars. There are three main movies to this that you're going to see this year. A lot of people arguably believe that the next one that you're going to watch is the best one, mm -hmm. and that's just a very widely accepted opinion. Mm -hmm. For me, I always enjoy the beginning of the story. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite one, is A New Hope. Mm -hmm. But you'll be able to make that ju judgment for yourself, I think. Okay. Soon enough. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Now, I'm also in the camp that the second one is the better one. Mm. Yeah. There's not a whole lot going on in it, but mm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, the part of the reason why I think that too is when you see like this one here, you know, this is one was George Lucas's you no know, real first attempt at something this big scale. He knew what he was doing a little bit. He was an experienced filmmaker when he made this, mm -hmm. but he was not like a high end filmmaker. So when he got around to making the other the other two movies that came out after this, he actually had other guys do the directing on them, and they you could see their experience come out a little bit better in those films. They're much more polished films than this one was. Mm. Okay, that'll be interesting to like keep in mind when I'm watching the the second and the third one. You know, like yeah, with all the special edition stuff that they've done to these over the years, mm -hmm. you see a lot of stuff in here that wasn't in there originally. It looks a little bit more polished than it was originally. Like if you watch the old, unaltered 1977 versions, you can definitely tell a difference in quality between that and say what you'll see in the later films. Right. Agreed. Mm -hmm. The quality in episodes one, two, and three mm -hmm. that are not on your radar quite yet, you know, they're really well made movies in terms of like, it's, it's like practically all green screen. Right. You know, with the exception of some of the locations, because they go all, even in this Star Wars, they go all over the world to yeah. shoot these. Mm -hmm. You know, they shot this out in one of the deserts in the Middle East. Tunisia, I was just I think. thinking Tunisia, about yeah. that. I was like, did they actually go 
I mean, you know, they as a person who, yeah. yeah, is so used to the use of green screen. I was thinking about that, and I was like, they must have gone out to like a specific desert for for those scenes. They did, and mm -hmm. even in some of the earlier episodes, they do a lot of their shoots in Italy. Mm -hmm. So they go all over the place to, to mm -hmm. get different looks for for whatever different planet that they're on, mm -hmm. you know, just because it'll bring out the feels more. Right. So. I do think that's really interesting whenever shows do that, and they're based in something that isn't Earth, but they still manage to find really cool landscapes yeah. on Earth, like, oh, of yeah. course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, the cantina, that's a real place. Mm -hmm. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everybody you saw there is real. That's exactly what it's like on a daily basis. Yeah. I always love the, that dude who's like, he doesn't like you. And I don't like you either. <laughs> they even made a shirt there that said, Moss Eisley Cantina, where our friends don't like you and we don't like you either. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been meaning to get that damn thing. It's really cool to start getting the references, too, because I've always seen, like, Star Wars-related memes or, like, merch and stuff, and, mm -hmm. you know, didn't understand anything, but it is cool to start having that come together, you know? Oh, certainly. Yeah. yeah. Now, a couple of notes here. Uh, let's talk about these stormtroopers, first of all. Mm -hmm. So, you've been asking, do, don't these guys go to basic training? Mm -hmm. The answer is yes, they actually do have a basic training that they go to. It's supposed to be professional military guys. Yeah. Um, we can't talk very much about that because that gives away too much plot that you haven't seen there. Okay. Uh, because there is, they did, in fact, get trained by professionals. Mm -hmm. um, however, the ongoing, like, rip on these guys that never ceases is that they couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. <laughs> and you saw how many of them it took, and they still right. couldn't hit Han Solo <laughs> running away from the Right. Hulk. Like, every time they're in a fight, their blasts go anywhere but the enemy there. <laughs> so whenever you hear Ben Kenobi over there talking about only shots this accurate could have been made by uh, Imperial Stormtroopers, right. it felt more like a joke. Than right. <laughs> Because he's like, yeah, these guys are the worst aim in the galaxy. I mean, in the opening scene where they take over that take over that ship, it looks pretty impressive. They're, they're mowing down those rebel guys, no problem. Yeah, it's but, just a it's a narrow hallway. <laughs> but after that, they can't hit anything. And I didn't understand why that was the case, but I, it just must have been their day, I guess. I guess the force really was strong with these guys. <laughs> I mean, you know why the rebellion has such an e has has such an easy time fighting them now? Mm -hmm. Because they can't accurately shoot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like the. The amount of shooting scenes I saw where no one took cover and were perfectly fine with the amount of like shots that were like ricocheting yeah. everywhere. It was chaotic in some of those situations. <laughs> like people just walk out unscathed. Right. I feel like there were many times the main characters could have just died, you know, like they just... probably should have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But I mean, you know, plot armor, I suppose, in that case. Oh, lots of it. There's a lot of it. They didn't shy away from plot armor in this. It was yeah. on tap. Absolutely. There's a lot going on in this film that's not very well explained, like you know, Obi-Wan disappearing when Vader cuts him down. Oh, that's, yeah. why, that's why I that made the joke a... that he's just running around the Death Star naked. <laughs> I was just thinking all the times that he was like speaking in, in Luke's head, and I was just like, is he just naked, like floating around? <laughs> like, just standing over Luke to, naked as, as a ghost, yeah. To offer words of wisdom. <laughs> he probably is, yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's the only way to sleep. Uh, that's right. the way he see it. <laughs> so, yeah. What was the other thing I wanted to say? Yeah, the droids. You saw how, like, often they were, they, like, neglected him or brushed him off or, like, eh, he's going to be fine. He just got his brains blown out. But it's like, mm -hmm. whatever, we'll be mm -hmm. fine. And I guess you'll see more of this as you watch more Star Wars. But droids mm -hmm. are, I, I personally believe they're the slaves of the galaxy. Because mm -hmm. you got saw them getting fitted with restraining bolts and whatnot so that they couldn't walk away from their master and they couldn't take it off themselves. Right. That's just kind of the way it is, or the way it seems there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's what George Lucas had in mind, though, but it's funny how it always seems to be that way, because everywhere you look, it's like you don't actually treat them like they're a living being kind of thing, even though you wouldn't have gotten out of any of these situations without them. But once, you're, once it's over, they're like, ah, come on, let's go. Shut yeah. yourself off. Yeah, it's, it's very weird in the media because at times you see them talking to the droids and it's like, you know, they're good friends, they're good companions. And then at other times they're just like, eh, you know, it's a droid. Who cares if we, you know, erase its memory or if we mm -hmm. destroy it or dismantle it or... But like, even in like some of the older stuff outside of the films, mm -hmm. like some of the video games, you see that there are droids who are assassins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they operate independently. So it seems like that they have no free will of a, in, in a sense. 
but they're not always treated that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's certainly a sense in some of the droids a sense of self awareness, which is why for me it's like, how can you treat them like this? You know, they're right. they're speaking to you, they're having full conversations, they're telling you how they feel. Mm -hmm. You're not listening to that though. Mm -hmm. So that was interesting to to kind of see. It does make me wonder, like, is this like? I mean, granted, I don't know the any of the story or, like, the wider universe or anything like that, but, like, it does make me wonder if there was, like, something with androids that, like, just people have against, that, like, have something against them. I mean, I know people now, like, people get mad at the, like, the Uber, like, I don't know what, what you know when they, like, the robots would deliver, like, Amazon packages and people, like, vandalize like, like, the drones and yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah, like, they'll, they'll vandalize them. <laughs> Maybe that's just human nature. <laughs> to hate robots. Maybe it's human nature. Now, yeah. me personally, I go back to Dune again with these mm -hmm. droids because we, like you say, you wonder why people hate them. Mm -hmm. Even in Dune, like you don't see very much artificial intelligence in their technology. Mm -hmm. And every everybody actually rose up and uh, had a humongous holy war against artificial, uh, artificial intelligence because it took over. Mm -hmm. So that might be another inspiration for why they're treat, why they treat the droids the way they do. Because I mean, even in the even in the cantina, they didn't serve their kind in there. They didn't want them in there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. May, I could be wrong about that, but for me, it's like it, it's a fun little theory. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like they're just treating them like we would any any AI software that we use now. Like just can, a convenience. Like you, yeah, like you can program it to be you know communicative and act friendly towards you and whatever. But at the end of the day, you're just a tool. You, you know that this is good as you are to anybody yeah. yeah you're only good as long as you're useful right mm. so. i like i like seeing princess leia's like little i love that her hair just her buns, like never her came buns, undone yeah, yeah that's an iconic time. Yeah. um i remember my parents bought me like a barbie that was like a star wars barbie when i was very young i'm sure they had no idea because i don't think they've ever seen star wars either and did it have the cinnabons on the side no i think it was like the lady with the painted face and she had like it was like a white painted face. Oh, it was probably Amadala. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. She had like this red dress. Yeah, that's a princess Amadala. Yeah, I played with that or hardcore. Amadala, so. Not gonna lie, she <laughs> um, <laughs> she got really messed up. But it just makes me think of that. Isn't that played by um, Natalie Portman? Yeah, Natalie. Portman. Also, uh, Kira Knightley. Oh, and Kira Knightley. Both of them. They were both. Did they? If... Well, that's yeah, and we'll get we'll get to that movie one of these days. But uh, yeah, they. They both traded off mm -hmm. for the role there. Oh, for, I see. And I, I can't explain why because it's important to that to the plot of that. But they was did. It like obvious that it was too. I didn't think so at first when I first okay. saw it. They, they I both. Guess, I guess they do kind of look a little bit. I didn't realize two years later. Well, they were the well, well they were wearing face paint, so right. I could, you couldn't really tell mm -hmm. until until it was made important enough for you to know the difference. There. Right. But they both, they both performed that role great. And if you thought. Any wardrobe here was good. Mm -hmm. You wait till you get to that. You get to those movies because her wardrobes are insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very elaborate. And she's always got lots of them in almost all the different shots. I think it's exciting to see like the world expand. You know, I feel like even though there's a lot that happened in this in this particular first film, it'll be cool to see. You know, the universe kind of like expand as they like as I see more movies. And stuff. Oh, and you'll and you'll yeah. meet new characters and mm -hmm. you'll see. A lot more of it, a lot of different planets, what they're like, mm -hmm. you know, what their cultures are like. So you know, you'll you'll get to know a lot there over the over the uh, coming movies there. Yeah, cool. I'm excited for you there. This is the first of many steps mm -hmm. to be yeah. taken. I'm excited. You know, I'm I've been on this earth 28 years, and I think it's the first time I've ever seen <laughs> 28 this. years. It didn't take me five, right? <laughs> And then I was watching it every day when I got home from school on our VHSs. You remember when he had his binoculars there and there's like that little fuzzy squiggle in the middle there? That's what my TV would look like. Oh, dang. <laughs> Just regular. I remember the day my dad brought home the bootleg VHSs of Star Wars for me. The bootleg VHS. Ours were bootleg too. They were practically recorded from the TV. <laughs> I went years not knowing that this was a movie. Uh -huh. Like my Star Wars started at Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> That's where that's where I thought Star Wars began, and then this movie came along, and I'm like, oh, this is Star Wars too. Uh -huh. Yeah, now everything <laughs> makes a lot more sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I grew up on sequels, fam. <laughs> so there, mm -hmm. well, fam, I think that's gonna cover it for us. 
Uh, by all means, get in the comments and let us know what you thought there. If you have any fun Star Wars stories, I'd love to hear what they are, guys. Also, if you know any fun facts about the, about the world of Star Wars, tell us what they are, guys. I'd love to hear what those are, too. But as always, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what's going on over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And this is Fifi. And this is Fifi. <laughs> We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. May the force be with you. May the force be with you all. And you too, Fifi.